Today we're going to show you what happens early in the morning with the ski patrol before you start your day at Deer Valley. I start my day by checking in with the snowmakers, the snowcat drivers. I get the reports on what happened overnight. Then we go downstairs and meet with uh, 35 ski patrollers. Uh, we do a report on mountain conditions, uh, weather forecasts, avalanche danger. Um, and then we generally move on into uh, announcements and a training topic of the day. The training topic can be, you know, medical scenarios, uh, it can be um, evacuation techniques where we try to keep everything uh, moving forward and give them something every day to think about and build on with their skill set. Today we worked on a new device that we've gotten from the forestry industry and it's basically a giant slingshot that uh, sends a weighted ball uh, with a cord on it that we are able to shoot over um, a chairlift line uh, and raise up an evacuation rope with that and it's a, a new piece of equipment that we want to demonstrate to the crew uh, and then we'll take it out on the mountain and we'll practice with it before the day comes that we might need it. So once the ski patrol divides up into their groups and they go to the respective mountains of the six mountains at Deer Valley um, all of the runs get inspected on a daily basis. So we check the highways first, the major groomed runs, and they go out and uh, see what happened overnight. They put out you know, additional signage, uh, make sure all of our ropes and warnings are in place and all of our pad systems are in place. And you know that takes us a good half hour, 45 minutes with the crew we have to make sure that all of those runs are ready for the skiing public. So once uh, the mountain gets inspected and we open up all the runs for a given day, um, we use the time after that while the mountain is still fairly quiet and people are just getting their ski day started to do um, some on-mountain training exercises. What we're seeing today is they're running um, sled drills in off-piste areas uh, to practice those skills, you know, evacuation skills from people that are injured off-piste and, you know, harder terrain on the mountain.